Hey guys, it's Chris here, and today's review is on the Henry Winterman Slim Cigar. Uh, just in case you might not know, if you bought the Henry Winterman's Panatellas, you would have read in the pack that they're discontinuing those cigars because they're very similar to these. These are a long, slender, generic um, Dutch cigar, I believe. Let's just take one out and have a look at it. But first, quick look at the box. These are the Royal Dutch Elites, which are very similar, pretty much the same cigar in my opinion. They're a little bit longer. Yeah. This got kind of a plain pack. This kind of got like a nice uh, gradient thing going. Kind of like a royal color of red, I would say. And a bad range of focus. It's probably because the glare coming from my computer screen. Smoking label here. Gold trim around, five slims, S some text on the back, barcode, anti-smoking label. Just see if we get the whole focus to focus again. There we go. See, it's a pretty nice looking box. We have a look at the scars itself. This is a Henry Winterman, take a while to focus back on me, okay. Henry Winterman Slim and Royal Dutch Elite. As you can see, it's a little bit taller, the Elite is a little bit taller, Royal Dutch Elite. Um, the Henry Winterman Slim is a little bit shorter, it's about the same width, possibly the tiniest bit chunkier, but I wouldn't really say it was. So it's near enough the same cigar. This is in a plain wrapper packaging. This is in a kind of a foil, which I always prefer my cigars in. Just says Henry Winterman Slim. It's got a pull tab there. And it's a very long slender cigar. Let's get mastery. These are pretty nice smokes. They are relatively cool. It's got a nice uh, taper on the end there. Comparing it to the Elite, I would say that is about the same thickness, it's a little bit darker. Uh, this doesn't have such a nice mouthpiece on it, by the way. The Elite. This one does, seems to have quite a firm, it seems to be well stuck together. And it's like a long mini cigar. I mean, if you cut it to about this, it would be, it would taste exactly like a mini cigar. It would be one. In general, pretty nice. It smells of a generic sort of a weak sweet tobacco. It's kind of got the um, the punch of cafe creme wood, but it's still, you know, generically sweet and light. Draws pretty nice. So let's have a bit of a taste of this. My usual lighter is kind of broken. Maybe once every 10 or 20 times. Yeah, you just get long strains of this. Um, it lets out gas fine, you can hear it. And, you know, there's a spark every time you use that, but it's just not working. So I got this new lighter. It's about £10. It's a turbo flame twin jet. I would probably use this for bigger scars, not like this. I would prefer to use matches. I haven't got any on my desk right now, so I'm going to use this. That didn't do a bad job, actually. Yeah, twin flame on this is pretty nice, by the way. Adjustable flame. So now that's started. Of course I rarely prepare my drinks, so I just go with Pepsi Max. I'm still on the cans of the cherry, haven't switched to any other drink yet. I see a little bit of smoke, nothing too much. Very, very cool draw. There's a lot for it to get through. Long, very thin cigar. The taste, pretty light, pretty generic. Starting to burn up a little bit, that's because I'm smoking it quick, I'm trying to get some flavours here. The ash actually looks, you know, really even for some reason. It doesn't feel like a cheap cigar. Burns through relatively quick, somewhat even. This is a nice little cigarillo. These things are pretty cheap. 
I mean, um, I've got their price open here. Ah, oh, cigars with the way they want you to log in every time, that's kind of annoying. A few orders I've made. Oops, that's uh, I just looked at another order I made for another time. When did I even order these? Four pound eighty nine for five. Let's see here. Eh, falling off. Just around ninety eight page. Let's say a pound. It's a typical small cigarillo size. I feel as if you have to have quite hard cheese to get anything from this. Very generic, pretty light. Of course it's a small cigarillo, so next to no body. A bit of a small uh, tobacco punch off the tip of your tongue, that's about it. It feels if I'm not very central, let me just move this along. I think that's a bit better. General Roma smells like, um, does actually smell a bit more like a cigarette than a cigar. As I said, it's very generic tobacco. Nothing too special about this at all. It's a nice little cool smoke though. I have gone several times to bed, as I might have mentioned in my elite video. One of these long cigars, I'm sitting in bed and have one of these, and it's you know generally a nice way to end the day. For a pound, they're probably not the best value cigarillos, but they're still pretty good. I would say the King Edwards Cornets are probably um for a little bit cheaper, a little bit bigger. You can pick these up anywhere uh, on cigars. Four pound eighty nine or five. You can see these anywhere. Wrapper brown Brazilian leaf. I don't really believe that. I'll take the word for it, but it's just generic Dutch tobacco. There we go, Dutch firm. It's really nothing special. These, I believe, are a common supermarket one. Um, in my news agents, they sell these, but they sold the Panatellas as well, which, as I mentioned, are discontinued now. There's um, kind of very little in terms of supermarket shops. Okay, having a quick look at my supermarket. I believe I do actually have a monitor capture for that. There we go. £4.37, so 87p per cigar for the Panatellas. They're pretty much the same cigar. I don't think they're quite as long, but I think they're just as wide. Your um, news agent should stock the Slims though. Like most across the UK will have these, they're just pretty generic. Still got some length on this. I honestly feel a bit like a bald furby with this haircut, but it's quite useful to have. <laughs> Good. 
go away touching the uh, bar and it's getting quite annoying. Definitely a smoke you could have uh, quite quick, it's very cool as I mentioned. The wind out there is really picking up, so. It's nice to hold cigar. As I said, for a little cigarillo, it's definitely a step up from your mini cigars, cost twice the price, about twice the length. It's a cool smoke, it's a little bit better, so you're probably actually, you know, better off getting one of these. A pack of five of these is the same cost as a pack of regular mini cigars. And that'll be a pack of ten, so depends on your situation. Depends if you want to have one have a little bit better of a scar if you have them a little bit less often. I mean there's people who only just have mini cigars. And maybe they would just have one after a meal. They would say they, you know, fancy small mini cigar after eating maybe once every couple of weeks. I would say you're probably better off going for these. Because I mean in that occasion you're still not you're not paying anything at all really. You best pay a pound, which is still nothing at all, every you know couple of weeks if you want. And um, yeah, they're probably better for that kind of occasion if you just have a rare small scar every so often, buy a pack of these. And they'll be a bit more enjoyable. And you're still not really getting into smoking cigars. While I'm on this video, before I get an update, I'm probably going to mention that I have ordered some more stuff. I ordered a pipe, because I've only got a very cheap old pipe that I don't really use. Um, I also ordered some cherry pipe tobacco. And as for cigars, I wanted to make it £50 for the free delivery from cigars. I also ordered pipe cleaners. But I ordered a Partigas Petit Corona. Specialities. That is a ten-pound cigar. It's not of the best of size. It's a petite crown after all, so you know you can't expect everything. I also did some Cohiba mini cigarillos because I want to see what they be like. I heard they're not very good, and you're better off going for say something like Partagas Siri mini. I believe someone mentioned in one of the reviews. But you know it's Cohiba. I want to give it a little bit of a try. It's a little bit shorter than your average mini cigar right now. It is the tiniest bit thicker? I feel. Still not that loud of a smoke. Sorry if you just heard the, the Skype notification I got. Sorry, I just had to uh, catch up on something. If you've ever played the game uh, RuneScape, I don't, but um, I was following a tournament they had on it. Basically, you know, you play a game and the winner gets 10,000 US dollars, that's a bit crazy. But, you know, it's fun to follow. Um, this scar's still quite enjoyable. It's actually picked up a little bit of spiciness, but that's probably because of the heat getting towards the end. I mean, that happens in every cigar. Still completely firm. This hasn't even so you know got even slightest bit moist. Feel a little bit of a tingle in the back of my throat. It's a bit weird trying to um, apply cigar criteria to small cigars and small cigarillos. But, in this case, that's what's happening. I mean, I really like the uh, Henry Winterman Slims and Panatellas. They're, they're decent price, long cigars to sit with. There's better out there if you're, you know, looking at the same price. But, in this case, you're looking specifically at these cigars. I believe I could still probably get a hold of some Panatellas to review. The Henry Winterman Panatellas, which I said, are pretty much the same cigar. You know... This length, probably a little bit shorter though, maybe uh, about like that. Yeah. 
I've had both before and um, yeah, that's pretty much them. They're a little bit thinner and a little bit longer than the King 6 Panthellas, I believe, which I reviewed quite a long time ago, sometime last year. To me, that's a long time, I don't really remember things. So we're getting towards the end of this now, still quite a cool... For, th for being this close in a normal scar, you'd expect some real heat, but this is actually, you know, quite moderated. Yeah, it's still pretty decent. does um, taste like burning tobacco, though, that you expect in a mini scar. As I'm live streaming this, I'm getting some uh, commentary, so uh, if the person who said hello, then hello back. I don't like to let ash develop on these cigars, it just tends not to work on small cigarillos. Would I define this as a cigarillo or a small cigar? I thought that's the definition of cigarillo almost. I believe it's specified to cigar. On the inside of this there is no uh, text. I believe on the elites there's text in there. And I believe on the slims the only text that was in there was um, a notification telling me that they're discontinuing them to make the Panatellas. No, the other way around. In the Panatellas there's a notification saying they're not going to make these Panatellas anymore. And the slims were a better scar. Still burning pretty well. I mean considering how fast I've been going through this deliberately for this review. It's actually holding itself pretty well. Pepsi Max goes everything. I prefer Coke, but um, I don't know. Pepsi's cheaper for some reason. I don't drink, but if I did, I probably still would probably go for something like Coke. I wouldn't pair it with a rum or whatever I would prefer. I mean, I usually always drink rums. I mean. This is remarkably straight. This is a small cigarillo. Generally, there's no real construction in these since they're machine rolled. But um, yeah, it's so easy in small cigars to get big gashes going up and down. But no, this has gone quite well the whole way through. I was I wouldn't say that's just burned evenly though. I would say the tobacco itself has burned very evenly. Feels quite definitely getting towards the end on this one. Pretty burn, pretty burning. So there's a um, decent amount of spice right there. As I said, it's all generic tobacco. This is what we expect, you know. Just getting towards the end. If you like generic mini scars, calf creme, Hamlet on the lighter side, maybe. I would say this is probably between them. It's probably you know light to medium. Uh, if you prefer those kind of mini scars, then you probably definitely love these. As I said, a little bit of an upgrade to your average mini cigar. It's not bad. No strong smoke at the moment. I'm not sure if it's just me today, or um, if this really isn't producing much smell at all. Yeah, that's... Um, smells a little bit more than a cigarette, but it really doesn't smell like a, you know, a cigar that's going to put a bad smell into the atmosphere like a normal giant cigar would. Last on that. Could go further, 10 not to. So, uh, what do I think of that scar? Uh, the Henry Women's Slims, I've had a couple of these before. I've had a lot of packs of the Panatellas because that's what my news agent sold when I was having a lot of uh, scars from my news agents that didn't order online. I would say they are very, very, very good. For a pound, I mean, there are better scars. I mean, you get the King Edward's Coronets. Um, I believe you could buy the Castell Classics for around a pound each. These are 
they haven't got quite the oomph, I would say. You don't get as much big plumes of smoke at the same time, I would say. But for a nice cool smoke that tastes actually pretty good, you know, it's a generic tobacco, but you're dealing with generic tobacco scars out of them, it's probably one of the best ones. I would say this is, you know, I would say get these if you fancy, but the Royal Dutch Elites are a tiny bit longer. They are pretty much the same price though, so you shouldn't really mind. I did do a review on the Royal Dutch Elites. They don't look as fancy, but they're pretty much the same cigar and a little bit longer. So you might want to check out my review on that. Anyway, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope if you, you know, liked what I said about the scars, then you should probably go and get some yourself. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in another video.